But uh, but before we do uh, all of that, we'd like to talk about box office. Yes, which I suppose means I should share my screen. I just got so distracted listening to you, Daniel. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. So, um, you know, there was a there was a Dune movie that came out over the weekend. Maybe you heard about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, eighty-two million for a March release. Not, not, not too shabby. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't quite hit the hundred million, but you know, there's always room for growth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, by the way, it, it has already hit a hundred million during the course of the week. Uh, I was looking at the dailies, and uh, on a Wednesday, it made six million. So that's a movie that people are actually rushing out to see. Yes, indeed. Um, Probably seeing it in IMAX, which I, I hear is spectacular in the, in that format. Incidentally, uh, it made roughly about as much uh, on Wednesday as Madam Web did on its opening Valentine's Day release date. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, speaking of which, Madam Web, uh, I believe you looked it up. It, it, as of today, still has not had $100 million worldwide. Nope. It's. I think it's like ninety one. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a good look. Nope. No. It's, it's Sony's great failure. <laughs> uh, to go with all the others. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, aside from that, uh, everybody it seems knew better than to try to take on uh, Dune Part Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, we still have Bob Marley at number two, Ordinary Angels actually holding on pretty nicely at number three. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, two weekends to 12 million is nothing to write home about, but it's showing consistent interest in whatever it is. Yeah. And, um, you know, good for a, a nice little low budget indie movie, yep. faith based indie movie. Yeah. Uh, it's your chosen. Speaking of faith-based indie production, so we got the chosen season four, episode seven and eight, in mm -hmm. fourth place. Um, Migration refuses to die on its 11, after eleven weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Demon Slayer is holding on. You know, considering that it's basically just last episode of the previous season and the next couple episodes of the next season, mushed together. Uh, to fund production costs, I'm guessing. Uh, you know, at 15 million for two weekends isn't bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of zombie films from the years prior, for the year prior, uh, Wonka, which is crossed 625 million worldwide. I'm so sick of talking about Wonka. Uh, yeah, I am too. <laughs> especially can, especially after what happened in Glasgow a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh God, I'm amazed that. So do you think that they were already planning to do that um, cursed event, or do you think that they were inspired by the success of the movie? I think they were inspired by the success of the movie, yeah. Well, I hope <laughs> that everybody involved is ashamed. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of shame, in ninth place is Argyle. Uh, has not crossed 50 million in the States and Canada after five weekends. Yeah. Well, uh, they, they should be getting some good money from Apple, I think. Yeah. Uh, so interestingly, I was looking up, um, I, I was on Variety earlier, just poking around. Apple claims that, you know, Napoleon and Killers of the Flower Moon didn't make a whole lot of money in the theaters comparatively. Yeah. They claim that the two projects are profitable because they were able to, I guess they were able to just market them heavily in iTunes. Huh. And they and they only just had just hit streaming, so that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they said ancillary sources, so I imagine for those, there's. Actually, I don't know if there'd be a Blu-ray release for that with, with Apple involved. They certainly don't sell any computers that have a Blu-ray player. Uh. <laughs> then, uh, rounding out the top ten, we have the Beekeeper. Uh, which is sitting at 64 million in the states, just shy of 65. Mm. But, but you know that that was not a 200 million dollar movie like Argyle. No, it was not. Yeah, I had, uh, although uh, I'm sure Jason Statham got a pretty good payday for it. And, and honestly, with that one, uh, I, I saw that movie and he deserved it. Mm. I, 
like you know for for the type of movie that this actually is uh he he did a very nice job oh that's good huh. let's see here um so yeah not not a too surprising box office uh interestingly dune is bigger in the states than the combined international hmm. um looks like it has not gotten a china release at least at this point uh which is kind of becoming more and more normal um you so i think it's interesting that uh uk is seems to be a bigger movie market than even some european countries that have a bigger population than the last time i checked hmm. I guess I guess it, the movie releasing in English is an advantage for that market. Yeah. Hmm. Or there might just be more of a culture there around going to the theaters. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to know sometimes. Yeah, but I, I'd have to do some research. But to be fair, I only just had the thought right now. So. Yeah. 